Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Shopify Odoo Connector. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to import orders from Shopify store to Odoo. Before importing the orders, you'll have to set up few order configuration. To do that, go to Shopify application, go to configuration and settings, select the store from the drop-down menu, and go to order configuration section. Over here, the first we have import order status. This is gonna define what type of orders you want to import from your Shopify store to Odoo. Currently, it is set to unshipped. So it is only gonna import unshipped orders from my Shopify store to Odoo. We also have partially fulfilled. Now, based on this, it is gonna import unshipped orders and even partially fulfilled orders from Shopify store to Odoo. The second option is use Odoo default sequence. This means that when you're importing the orders from your Shopify store to Odoo, do you wish to use the Odoo's default sequence or not? If you wish to use it, please activate it. If you don't want to use it, please deactivate it and it is gonna follow the Shopify order sequence. Now the third option is order prefix. So when importing the orders from your Shopify store to Odoo, do you wish to add a prefix before the order number or not? If you wish to add, you can provide the specific prefix over here. So let's say if I provide SHP and if I click on save, now when importing the orders from my Shopify store to Odoo, it is gonna have SHP followed by the Shopify order numbers. This way you can identify from which Shopify store the orders are getting imported. The fourth option is default POS customer. What this means is when you're trying to import a POS order from your Shopify store to Odoo, and if that POS order has not set any customer, which customer do you wish to set when importing that order from your Shopify store to Odoo? You need to mention that customer from the drop-down menu. The fifth option is automatically fulfill only the gift card of the order. You need to set this based on the configuration you have set in your Shopify store. So go to your Shopify store, go to settings, go to checkout option, and scroll down to order processing. Over here, what configuration you have set for the gift card, you need to provide the same configuration over here as well. The next is the tax configuration. Over here, the first option is Shopify apply tax. Currently, it is set to create new tax if not found. What this means is when you're importing an order from Shopify store to Odoo, it is going to check which tax has been set in the order. It is then going to check if the same tax configuration is available in Odoo. If it is not available in Odoo, it will automatically create the same tax in Odoo when you're importing the Shopify order to Odoo. The second option is Odoo default tax behavior. What this means is, when you're importing a Shopify order to Odoo, it is gonna apply the tax based on the Odoo's tax behavior. This completes the configuration when it comes to the order. Now click on save. You can import the orders from Shopify store to Odoo in three ways. First is using the webhook, which will import the orders in real time. Second is using the scheduler where you can set certain time frame and it will import the orders based on the time frame. And the last option is importing the orders manually. I'm going to show you all the three options in this video. First, let's import the orders using the webhook. Now before importing the orders using the webhook, you need to activate webhook in our Shopify application. To do that, go to the Shopify application Go to configuration and settings, select the store from the drop down menu and go to webhook configuration. Over here, you need to activate manage orders via webhook and click on save. Now let's place an order in the Shopify store. Let's go to Shopify store. Let's go to the front end of the store. Let's select the product. Click on buy now. Enter the respective fields. 
and click on continue shipping. Click on continue to payment. Enter the respective details. The order has been placed. The order number is 1044. So let's go to orders. As you can see, the order has been placed. So let's go to your Shopify application. Let's go to the dashboard. As you can see, the order has been imported. You can click over here and you can see the order 1044 has been imported to Odoo. When importing the orders, even the customer information can also be imported to Odoo as well. So you can see the customer information under the sales and customer menu, customer John Doe. We import the customer name, the customer email address, the customer phone number and the customer address. With the help of our Shopify application, you can also import partially fulfilled orders as well. To do that, go to the Shopify application Go to configuration and settings. Select the store from the drop down menu and go to order configuration. Under order configuration, you need to set partially fulfilled orders and click on save. This is only going to import partially fulfilled orders from my Shopify store to Odoo. So let's go to my Shopify store. I have an order 1046 which is partially fulfilled. I'm going to import this order from my Shopify store to Odoo. Let's click on this order. I have two products, bag and t-shirt. Bag has been fulfilled and t-shirt has been unfulfilled. Let's import this order. To do that, go to the Shopify dashboard. Click on perform operation. From the operation menu, select import unshipped orders. Select the date range from which state to which state you want to import the order and click on execute. It will create a queue. Now this queue can either be processed automatically or manually. If you want to do it manually, click on process queue manually over here and click on process queue manually. If you want to process this queue automatically, just leave the queue like that for a minute or two and it'll automatically get processed. As you can see, the queue has been processed. So let's go to sales and orders. As you can see, the order number 1046 has been imported. If you click on this order, you will have one delivery created for which the order is unfulfilled. That is for the product t-shirt and another stock move created for the fulfilled orders. As you can see, the bag has been fulfilled and the invoice is created for both as the payment has been done. Apart from importing the orders using the webhook and importing the orders manually, you can also import the orders using the scheduler as well. To do that, go to configuration and instance, click on the instance, go to configure scheduler. As you can see over here, we have a scheduler called import orders where you can set a certain time frame as per your requirement. Let's say in my case, I would like to set every 30 minutes and I would like to set the date as today. And if I save this, this is going to import my unshipped orders or the partially fulfilled orders from my Shopify store to Odoo every 30 minutes. Now, when importing the orders, if the product is not available in Odoo, it will automatically create the same product in Odoo as well. You will also have to make sure that when importing the orders, all the financial status and the workflow has been set. To create financial status and workflow and payment gateway, you can refer to our payment gateway and financial status video mentioned in the description.